Maybe like start in the back. Start in your closet. And then walk out. Bruh. <sighs> it's funny. Yeah, but you know all the jokes that are gonna come in the comments. Yeah, it's fine. What's up guys, it's Darren Tang here. I'm officially coming out of my ball closet. What's up guys, it's D Tang here and I'm gonna showcase to you what I like to call my ball den. Ball collection. Stash. Balls. 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 I get a lot of questions pretty often about, you know, what do you have in your stash? How many bowling balls do you have? And a lot of questions like that. Today, I don't really have an answer for you. We're just gonna show you what I got. I don't have a numerical value for you, but hopefully you enjoy the video and make sure you hit that like button because it helps us out a lot with the algorithm. Let's start over here. This is a pretty special bowling ball. It's the PBA 60th anniversary bowling ball. Funny enough, I was bowling a Pro-Am. How I got this was, the man comes up to me, he goes, hey, do you want this ball? I was like, sure, what do you want for it? He goes, just a signed jersey. I'm like, what? Just a signed jersey for this ball? Like, this is a pretty special bowling ball, but I'll probably never drill it. That's how I got it. A few special balls right here. Uh, my mom bought this one for me back when it released in 2018. It's the Pink High Road. They only made 300 of them. You know, because 300 is a special number in bowling. Yeah, my mom bought one for me and my brother for I think the High Road's 10th birthday, so that was pretty sick. Thanks, Mom. I got a couple more High Roads here, just international releases. Very fortunate to go overseas and play bowling and come back with bowling balls that we can't get here. So this is basically storage for all of my friends that stay here. You know, the World Series of Bowling, we ended up drilling tons and tons of bowling balls. They can't take them all home. They don't want to ship them, so you can leave them here for next time we have tournaments in Vegas. But I think we have balls from Chris Vi, Mikey, you know, Bowl DMC, BJ Moore, Rocio's left some bowling balls here. We've had all kinds of people just say, you know, can you hang on to some balls for me and balls. All right, now we're moving into my personal ridiculous amount of bowling balls, I guess. But uh, most of these bowling balls are from the 2020 season. Luckily, we ended the tour sort of abruptly, COVID. Nope. We ended in Vegas, so that was pretty convenient for me. I got to bring all my bowling balls back home. Most of the balls on this shelf right here is from the 2020 season, and all the stuff on the bottom is stuff that I'm currently using. We got some global balls, some storm balls, some roto balls, brand new proton physics. There's a lot of pitch blacks in here. Uh, if you can guess the number of pitch blacks in the comment, Good for you. Uh, you even know how many there are? No. A lot of the balls up here, kind of the same deal as the ones on the bottom. I flip them out. Yeah, there's a lot of balls here. I think there's probably about 50. There's way too many. Giveaways? Let me know in the comments. Comment, comment. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe too because we're gonna be doing giveaways all the time. So make sure you're subscribed. How are we gonna handle this? Should I start in the closet? This is probably the moment you've all been waiting for. The blank stash of balls. Oh, there you are. Hey there. This is our next album cover. It's called Balls! <laughs> this is the collection. The collection of balls. Most of these bowling balls are from college. I was bowling a lot of tournaments. I, I had coll collegiate pricing. I was getting cases of bowling balls at a time that I liked because I figured they paid for themselves. You know, I, I pay for them, I throw them, they make me money. I can just keep buying bowling balls. So that's what I did. I haven't really been collecting bowling balls since I moved. It's just not something I need to do anymore. Balls! Let's check it out right here. This is the Michael Tang section of Roto Grip. We have one of his personal favorites, the Hypercell. Another personal favorite is the Asylum. I believe this is the most recent personal favorite. The Idol. I don't know what he has here. An Astrophysics. Is this a physics? What's in here? Oh, that's a Reign of Power. That's an old one. And an MVP. Moving along, I kind of have them separated by Storm and Roto Grip. This is all my Roto Stash, and this is all my Storm Stash. Up front, we have mostly seed balls, newer balls. I got a fast pitch, pitch black, a couple of slightly older ones. Um, Hyro Nano was really good. Typically, I don't stash bowling balls unless I really like them, just in case, you know, I feel like drilling one. So moving further back into the closet, some code balls. We've got Sherlock's, Cruxes, Locks, Alpha Cruxes. These are all balls that I like a lot, the strong balls, especially the Alpha Crux. A lot of you know that already, but I'm down to two. If you're watching, if you have an Alpha Crux, let's work some kind of deal out, you know. You know what I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and then we have some Marvels down here. Marvel S, this one was super good ball for me. Threw it a lot, Marvel Pearls. Some of my favorite Rotor Grip balls here. The Defiant Soul, 
the Disturbed, the No Rules Pearl. I got multiples of each of those because like I said, I stashed the balls that I liked a lot. So rainy day, or if I just feel like it, I'll drill them. Don't bug me in the comments or in my DMs about trading for balls because I probably won't and these aren't going anywhere. Unless it's an Alpha Crux, then maybe we could talk. But aside from that, balls! Smash that like button if you like balls! Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like balls! What was the last thing? Comment if you like balls! And as always, bowl up a storm.